Live, local, now. Very emotional day in court as a teen who brutally attacked an El Dorado High School teacher was sentenced to a minimum of 16 years behind bars. That attack happened last April, but the trauma from the attack is something the victim says she may never recover from. 8 News Now reporter Victoria Saha in court as the defense and prosecutors delivered their closing arguments. Uh, they remembers him saying is, why won't you just die? Those are the words the prosecutors say the teacher, Sade, kept remembering as she was attacked. She was opening her doors to students because she trusted them. It was after school, April 7th, 2022, when then 16-year-old Jonathan Martinez Garcia went to his teacher's room to discuss grades. Prosecutors say Martinez Garcia waited for Sade's back to be turned when he started strangling her, raping her, cutting her wrists, and then trapping her under heavy bookshelves. I'm sorry, and uh, I regret what I've done. I will tell myself I've no one I was to blame by myself. But his attorney, Tyler Gaston, did have something to blame. The meds Martinez Garcia was on. He just has no history of anything but being a perfect, loving kid. Gaston says Martinez Garcia was having hallucinations and night terrors after taking a drug called Monte Lucas to help with his asthma. This is the real Jonathan. When not on Mona Lucas, Jonathan did something bad to somebody else, so us as a society should do something bad to him. And that's not justice. The courtroom packed with people who spoke on Sade's behalf. And then we heard from Sade herself. I would wake up in a new spot and position each time. He had beat my body so badly that I could no longer fight. And it only makes sense that he too should be in prison for as long as possible. Since it happened, there hasn't been a single night where I haven't dreamt about the attack. Judge Kathleen Delaney says an attack on educators is unacceptable. But it is the most heinous type of crime that there could be.